Uh, g'day guys, um, this is going to be an unboxing of the Hack 5 Elite Field Kit, uh, the 2020 version. I noticed when I was purchasing this, um, there wasn't actually many reviews about the 2020 version or what's included. Um, the only information you can get is from the Hack 5 website before you order it. So I received the box today, so that's what the box comes as. Um, and inside the box... Everything's packed individually, so you get the um, uh, you get the bag separately to everything else that's in it. Um, so I'll just go through one by one about what's in the box, and um, uh, I might also take some photos of the individual packets so you guys can see what they look like, or uh, well, the the text that's on the packets as well. So first out of the box is the Hack Five um, Elite Field Kit. A carry bag so um, this bag you'll be able to fit um, I would assume everything from the uh, from the kit would go inside this bag um, so I'll just open it up this is a first impression as well I haven't actually um, seen these bags or any of these kits here before um, brand new out of the box so we've got a pouch in the top at the front you can chuck some cables in there, I guess. There's also a handle at the back. So if you can see that, so you can carry it around. Um, on the inside, you've just got all these slots and a, a zip at the front here. So you can chuck some more cables in there, I guess. Uh, this has actually got two two levels so you've got that level which I just showed you and then there's another level here where you can chuck some more stuff um, and that's pretty much the whole bag there's a few zips in there as well pouches that's the bag nothing too fancy um, so in this kit um, I haven't purchased anything additional to the um, 2020 fill kit uh, elite fill kit so off the bat I've got the packet squirrel um, you also get the land turtle uh, a rubber ducky USB that's just a single rubber ducky in there you've got the plunder bug uh, bash bunny Uh, the spring crab, um, this packet was open uh, through shipping, I guess. Uh, you've also got the signal owl, which comes in a different packet to those. It's got its own little cardboard box. Uh, there's also the key crock. Um, and then some adapters. So this has got some USB adapters. I'll open these up shortly. Um, the Ethernet uh, connector, so that's a USB to Ethernet plug, um, which you could use with like the um, uh, actually the Shark Jack, which is also in there as well, and then some USB C um, plugs as well, or connectors. And last but not least, the Tetra Wi Fi Pineapple. Um, oh, you've also got the keychain as well, the Hack 5 one. So that one there. I'll take close-up photos of these as well and put them through the uh, video before I upload it. Um, so let's get rid of this box. Alright, so first of all, I'll go through the pineapple. So there's the box again. So... In the pineapple box, you get the um, uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra card uh, that has getting started information. Um, you get the Tetra itself. So it's just the Tetra. 
you've got four an antenna ports on there um, which means you also get four antennas which are also in here now I have heard that you can actually get um, uh, aftermarket antennas some larger antennas and get more range on these so that's something I'll test out in some future videos hopefully um, USB plugs and one thing I wanted to mention was that the power adapter that you get um, this I believe is a US adapter it's not an Australian adapter a standard Australian New Zealand adapter um, so um, you'll need to consider that make sure you have a, a Australian one um, handy um, I'm not sure exactly what sort of plug this is I'll try and look that up but it's a pretty standard standard adapter plug you would be able to pick these up easy um, at J car or somewhere like that um, so there was another thing I wanted to mention as well the um, uh, the shipping time so I purchased this uh, at around the uh, the first week of June and it's the 20th today so it took about three three to four weeks um, for it to arrive um, so keep that in mind as well um, so just going through to the rest of the stuff here let me pop this aside all right so I'll leave the um, uh, adapters to last so rubber ducky pretty easy to open so again you get another little card um, with the um, uh, some basic information about what it is what it does um, and then you've got okay so the rubber ducky comes in separate parts um, which I'll take a, um, a better photo of later but it basically just looks I've got another USB here this is a Red Hat USB um, which looks very much the same I guess but the rubber ducky is it comes in separate pieces which you open up individually and put together in the casing um, let's do the key craft next So similar thing, you get the card with the um, uh, basic instructions or information, key crop itself. Very simple. That's all you get with the key crop. So no adapters or anything like that. Um, there are adapters in the in the. Um, uh, in the other packets, so you could probably use those for this or um, or pretty much any of the products really um, Screen crab So that was the one that was already open so you may as well just finish opening that up Again another card and in here Is actually feeling very um very durable as well it's not plastic um, so you get an antenna and you get the screen crab itself so you can just pop that onto here and that's all set up pretty much um i'll chuck that back in here for now Um, land turtle so another key card uh, with um, basic information again and that's the land turtle there and there's also a little Okay, so you get a couple of stickers with it as well, um, which have a MAC address, 
Uh, so they're both exactly the same. So I'm not sure what you'd use, use those stickers for, maybe if you've got multiple ones or something. Um, or for the uh, uh, cloud software. So you know which is which, probably. Uh, and next we've got the Bash Bunny. So another card. And the Bash Bunny itself. all it is again you've got the cables that it comes with in additional uh, packets which you can use for that uh, packet squirrel another card And uh, there's a couple more. So next one is the Plunderbug. So the card. You get a cable with this one. Uh, this is a USB-C cable. And you get the Plunderbug itself. Ethernet jack on there and on that side, um, and USB C connector on the side. And next, we've got the signal owl, which is very simple, it just comes in the, in the box like I showed before. Um, and you get that card, same sort of card. And that's the signal out there. Nothing too fancy. And lastly, you've got the shark jack. Just comes in a metal casing. A little card. the shark jack in here which has got a clip on the top for the ethernet port um, and then you've got the um, the notch on the side which is uh, the attack and um, input mode and stuff like that so on to the um, uh, accessories and the cables so we've got the USB-C essentials um, packet. So we'll open that one up. So this has just got a uh, micro USB adapter on there, which is connected to a USB C cable. And then you've got so USB C and USB C there. One of them is USB Type A, and one of them is a micro USB. Um, so that's what the connector is. So you should be able to use pretty much all the um, uh, all the products with something like that, um, and then more USB adapters. So these ones. Uh, okay, so you've got a USB C adapter, which is plugged onto a USB Type A male. Um, and then on the other end of that, you've got a USB Type A female. And that's all in that one. And then the Ethernet Essentials packet. 
that's just got a um, so the Ethernet to USB adapter which will come in very handy and then you've got a, um, a an Ethernet cable uh, which is on a um, on a spring thing so you can adjust that I'm not sure exactly how long that is it's um, uh, I'll leave that in the description so thanks for tuning in guys um, this was an unboxing of the hack 5 elite fill kit the 2020 version um, leave a comment below if you're looking at purchasing any of these products and um, uh, let me know why as well um, and make sure you subscribe if you want to see me uh, playing around with these uh, in action uh, and let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to that you want to see get done um, and hopefully I can have a look at, at demonstrating that other than that uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time